this amp is so bad, it will either make your mother hate you, or it will make you hate guitar playing. Today we're taking a look at Fender's cheap practice amp solution, it's the Fender Frontman 20G. Hello and welcome to another video with me, Elmo J. Karjalainen, and it's good to have you along. I'll do sounds first and then I'll say what I think and I'll put some specs up here while I play a bit. I have a custom strap with a humbucker, single, stacked humbucker, so you get kind of all sorts of different worlds. <laughs> EQ set everything halfway. Treble, drop middle, up bass, okay let's see if we add gain what happens. Seems gain doesn't affect the clean tone at all. You're not going to gig with this, but let's see how much volume on full. Getting a bit of breakup. Uh, let's see what the gain channel does. Before anyone says anything, I don't have anything here in between, nothing, it's just the amp, everything set halfway. <laughs> Drop treble. Add gain. So let's drop gain and add some overdrive from 
I have an SD1 here. Even more from a Nobles ODR1. Let's face it, this is a beginner amp, so you're not going to have any pedals. I had a bit of a fiddle with this yesterday, so I knew what was on the way. I'm not sure if this video is going to be monetized, because I might end up swearing. <laughs> Let me, before I rant about this, because I'm going to rant about this, because this is absolute dog shit. There are cheaper amps out there that are way better. This is 111 euros and I just tried the Harley Benton jam box, has way more features, is cheaper. This doesn't even have reverb. And I tried the Harley Benton whatever it was called, I forget now. And I've tried the Marshall MG series, roughly the same ballpark figures or cheaper. Same idea, ish. In, at least in the sense that uh, they're practice amps, clearly. And the only thing I can think of that rivals this in terms of suckiness, absolutely, I mean, it manages to suck and blow at the same time, is the Behringer HA10G, which I tried a while back. The clean. Let's do the positives first. It looks like a fender, it looks nice. Uh, the clean is usable. Don't think it's anything to write home about. And the distortion side of it. Oh my dear lord. It sounds like, I mean, I'm struggling for words to describe what it sounds like here in the room. I remember back when I was starting 1990-ish, I had an amp that sounded something like this. But the, the problem is, people who started playing back then or earlier will know roughly what I'm talking about. Solid state beginner practice amps were absolutely horrible back then. But younger kids will not know what I'm talking about. And people who are maybe thinking of buying something for their kids will not know what I'm talking about. Absolutely do not get this amp. This amp is so bad that it will either a it will either make your mother hate you or it will make you hate guitar playing that's i mean that's how i would sum it up it's a blatant cash grab from a company the size of fender that should know better they should be inspiring kids to play not take their money i i cannot defend this it comes with free online lessons. That's the only reason to get this. And then maybe use this as a paperweight or an anchor for your boat. It's, it's, it's beyond belief. I mean, and like someone will say that the clean is the only thing that matters. Well, fine, make an amp that only has the clean channel. <sighs> and make that cost less. I don't, I honestly don't know how this can cost more than something that's better and has way more features. I, I don't know. This now takes the place of the worst amp I've ever tried on this channel. And it's partly by virtue of it being by Fender. Fen I mean, I kind of, the Behringer that I reviewed you kind of come to expect that Behringer might do whatever. They can do something absolutely terrible and then they can do something very nice. And then everything in between. But you kind of expect that from Behringer. Maybe you should expect that from Fender. And I mean, I love some Fender products. I have Fender guitars. I have Fender overdrive pedals. But the way I would describe it, this is that it's a cynical cash grab. Um which will do nothing for any aspiring young guitar players. Quite the contrary, it will make them quit or it will make their mothers hate them. <laughs> because no one wants to listen to this. Angry Bees with Chainsaws was one amp I described it as sounding. This is just way, it's 
Angry Bees with Chainsaws does not do it justice. Absolutely terrible, worst amp I've tried. And yeah, I buy the gear that I review so you get an honest review. And on that note, this video is sponsored by the good people who support me over on Patreon. Thank you for that support. If you want to check that out, there's a link in the description. You get access to my music lessons and a bunch of exclusives. But, I mean, other than that, I hope you never, ever encounter anything as bad as this. And I don't. Honestly, I don't mean to be harsh, and I have nothing against Fender, and I never set out to bash any product. But that's just the way I feel about this. There is no kind way to say this. This is absolutely horrible. If you want to check out alternatives, there are two videos here with some good ones, and they're affordable. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a nice day. Take care. See you. Bye.